How's it going guys? Back at ya with some more Trials of Mana. Today's video is a basic party guide. Who should you choose to be in your party? As you may already know, there are six different characters in the game, each with their own backstory. But you can only pick three to play with in a single playthrough. I know for me it was a tough decision. Who should I pick and why? Well hopefully today's video can help you guys out and help you make that decision. Please, accept the goddess of manners blessings. I'm gonna keep this guide as simple as possible. I could go into detail about classes and why you should choose certain characters based on their classes and such, but I want this to be a basic guide and help out people that maybe haven't played the game before or are new or beginner players. So if that's you and you like today's video or it helped you out, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already. First off, I want to start by briefly explaining each character. Starting with Duran, the soldier from Valsena. He's a great swordsman who can also wield a shield. He has good strength and high stamina, but he lacks an intellect. He's a good character to have on your front lines someone to charge into the thick of things and handle up-close combat. Angela, the princess magician from Altena. She has high intellect and high spirit, but she lacks in strength and stamina. She starts the game not able to use magic, but stick with her as she becomes a powerful offensive magic user as you progress in the game. She's a good character to use to blast enemies from a distance using powerful magic spells. Kevin, the half-beast man, half-human prince of Ferolia. He's a brawler, and he uses his fists as his weapon. He has high strength and good luck, but he lacks an intellect. He has a unique ability with his nighttime transformation, making him the strongest character in the game. He's a good character to use as an offensive weapon, but he also can learn healing later in the game. Charlotte, the cleric from Wendell and the granddaughter of the Priest of Light. She has high spirit, but she's low in strength and stamina. She's one of the weakest characters to start off with, but her healing abilities make her very useful. She's a good character to use as a support character with her healing and support magic abilities. Just beware, she talks like a baby and may be annoying. Hawkeye, the thief from Navarro. He's a very quick and speedy fighter using his daggers and agility to take down his enemies. He has high luck, but he's low in stamina and spirit. He's a good fighter and companion, making him a great support or main character. Reese, the Princess of Laurent. She's the most well-rounded character and has pretty much balanced stats across the board. Her highest stat being luck and her lowest intellect. She uses spears, and can fight up close or at a distance. She can provide support magic and eventually learn summons later in the game. She's a very versatile character, working well with everyone, making her a great support or main character. If you want to know more about any of these characters, I have a backstory video for each character on my channel, so you can go ahead and check those out if you'd like. But moving on to who you should pick, for your main character, you want to pick someone you like or enjoy playing with, as they will be the main focus of the story. The story will be through their perspective for the most part. But you can also experience unique dialogue, cutscenes, and slight narrative changes based on your combination of party members. Wait a sec. You said you're the Princess of Altena. Then you must be friends with that blasted wizard, huh? So how does this work? In Trials of Mana, there is three different major storylines, depending upon who you picked as your main character. There is also a character pairing system. Three major storylines, but six characters. So that's two characters per storyline. Characters that share a storyline are called character pairs, and they share a common enemy later in the game. I would suggest using a character pair as two of your party members, as this will produce the most narrative cohesion, dialogue, and cutscenes. Plus they just work really well together. 
However, the character pairing will only be most effective if you choose one as your main character and the other as your companion one. The three character pairs are Duran and Angela, Hawkeye and Race, Kevin and Charlotte. Now in order to experience all of the story that Trials of Mana has to offer, you would have to do a playthrough with each character pair. So that's three playthroughs, making Trials of Mana a very replayable game. Now you may be wondering, what about your third party member, your companion too? Well that's up to you. They won't add much story wise, but some characters work better together than others. But basically, you want to choose someone you think will complement or enhance your existing party. Someone that can add value in an area your party is lacking, or someone that enhances your other party member's strengths, such as adding Reese to your party of Angela and Duran, as Reese can provide physical support for Duran as she is a good fighter, but she can also enhance Angela's magic with her support magic. You could argue for any character as your third character though, as almost all of the characters work pretty well together. It's your decision, and there really is no wrong answer here. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. <sighs> no kidding! Leave it to Altanish mages to mess everything up. Now that you've chosen your third party member, your party is set and ready to go on their adventure. Just remember, Trials of Mana is meant to be a replayable game, and even slight changes in your party can result in slight dialogue and narrative changes. So even if you have an amazing party, there's always more to experience with a different combination of party members. But that's all I got for you today, guys. Now knowing this information, I kind of want to change up my party and start over and use a character pair. Reese and Hawkeye are my two favorite characters, and they happen to be a pair, so I'm probably going to use them. That way I can experience better narrative cohesion, and plus I heard something interesting happens with Hawkeye and Reese. Stay tuned to my channel as that may be a near future series, and subscribe if you're not already. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to smash that like button. Good luck with your parties, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out, fam.